Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Thanks to the team over at Show Z for today's review. We're going to be taking a look at the APC Toys Knight Countess Transformers Prime Arachnid. Now for those of you looking to add this figure to the collection, I'll of course be sure to pack a link down in the description box below. And undeniably, one of the coolest entries I think we've seen APC Toys put out for this Transformers Prime toy line. Unlike some of their past releases, this is actually a completely brand new sculpt, which I think is just fantastic, especially considering that the official offering that we saw way back in 2012 has got to be one of the worst Transformers of all time and the character on the show was just awesome so I'm really glad that finally a company has done this character design justice and overall she just looks so striking this is a really cool looking figure but she's not without her flaws and I'll be sure to touch base with that later on in the video now as we take a look at the robot mode this is actually one of two alternate robot mode looks the other that being her hunter mode which I'll showcase later on this looks fantastic really accurate to the series i think the head sculpt in particular has been sculpted and painted beautifully especially where that paint lays for the face piece that looks so nicely done you can see that black detailing just below the eyes i think the purple eyes also very bulbous and kind of alien in design just looks so creepy and the helmet the way the crest swoops back here just looks so cool now here for the back of the figure i do have kind of the compressed configuration for the spider legs there are a few other attachments which we can peg on later on but for those who recall when she was in this humanoid mode this is how the legs did store away and overall i just think that looks so accurate to the series really nicely done the sculpt work here for the torso i think too has come out very nicely as so has the shoulders, the forearms, and the biceps. Sadly, the hands don't look the greatest in pretty much any pose. I think it's because the thumb just kind of gets lost in the sculpt, so that's unfortunate. But other than that, here for the skirt section, that all looks really nicely done with a mixture of metallic pink, silver, and the black plastic. And I do like how these skirt pieces actually flare out to the side. That's wicked. And the angle of the legs is just so cool. These prime designs definitely did have an almost anime feel to them. And that's exactly what I'm getting here from this arachnid. I think these look so cool, very sleek and elegant, much like we saw in the series. And just in all, a terrific looking figure. Now, articulation is kind of dated, especially for a contemporary release, but it's not too bad. So here at the head, it is on a ball joint it can look up to an amazing range mainly due to the hunter mode but that's really nicely done it can also look down as well as tilt side to side very slightly and rotate the 4360 now if you have these back panels collapsed the shoulders are very limited if i just show you what i mean by that as you hinge these back they're more than likely going to bump into these pieces so what you can do is take these sections hinge these to the back and whilst from a side perspective it doesn't look the greatest in this mode it does allow for a much better range range of motion out of the shoulder so I would definitely recommend that if you wish to display her in an almost dynamic pose but for a standard vanilla pose I guess you could push those back and the transformation joint doesn't really grip in all that well either so nine times out of ten this section will just become loose and floppy so I do wish this too could have been slightly tightened up but the shoulder can rotate the full 360 as well as hinge back and forth we do get a very nice ball joint here out of the elbow which kind of acts as the bicep rotation and due to transformation this can bend way past 90 you could articulate the wrists although at least here on this side the tolerances are so tight and as you guys can see that has actually stressed the plastic out so i don't think it would take much at all to actually snap these clean off the wrist peg so that's definitely something watching out for but here for the torso this can crunch forwards that far as well as back and can also rotate left to right so really great range there the skirt pieces can hinge out to the sides as well as go forwards and backwards to allow the hips to kick i'd say roughly to 90 so that's pretty cool they can also go back to that far out to the side rotation here at the thigh 90 degree bend here at the knee and sadly nothing at the ankles and considering this is a brand new mold i do wish they could have found a way to have perhaps packed in a ball joint just so we could have gotten a slightly more dynamic range but other than that the figure looks fantastic and i'd say for the most part considering her scale and the way she transforms the articulation isn't that bad at all but i'd say just in general the plastic does have a very cheap almost knockoff feel to it so that's unfortunate she definitely does feel a lot more cheap when in comparison to some of the past apc toys figures so that is something worth bearing in mind now turning to some size comparisons here for her in her humanoid form here we have her compared alongside the original 2012 hasbro version the arachnid 
arachnid that us Prime fans have been putting up with for the best part of a decade. And uh, my goodness, there's no comparison to be had here at all. The new APC Toys version absolutely annihilates the official release. They really don't even look like they're based on the same character design. I have no idea what Hasbro were thinking when they put this out, especially considering that their Prime figures were some of the best that we've seen in recent years. This thing was just absolutely atrocious. It was wonky from almost every single angle, whereas this new APC Toys release just looks killer, literally even from the back. I'd say the back of this figure looks better than the entirety of this figure. So without a shadow of a doubt, if you're after the best Arachnid based on Transformers Prime, then it has got to be this APC Toys version. Now turning to some of the quick fire comparisons, here we have her alongside the APC Toys First Edition Optimus Prime, APC Toys First Edition Deluxe Upscale Megatron, Hasbro Voyager Class First Edition Bulkhead, the Transformers Prime Deluxe Class Starscream, APC Toys First Edition Deluxe Class RC, APC Toys Soundwave, and for a few contemporary comparisons, here we have her alongside the Earthrise Leader Class Optimus Prime, Studio Series Bumblebee Movie Deluxe Ironhide, and finally the Netflix Voyager Class Soundwave. But now we're going to turn to what is undeniably the money shot of this figure, that being the inclusion of kind of these iron spider legs to transform her into the hunter mode. The mode that we see her the majority of the time sport in the series, something which the Hasbro version once again failed in doing. So to get to this mode, what I would recommend to do would be to detach these three spider legs that we have here at the back. Now you can leave these sections pegged in, although to truly maximize that hunter mode, I would recommend taking them and actually angling them here out to the back just like this what we can then do is take the legs disengage this joint here so just hinge this here all the way up just like so and come around here to this side and rinse and repeat what we can then do is bend the hips upwards just like that and you're actually going to want to combine the two halves to kind of create that abdominal section that we see her have in the series now this can be a little finicky and fiddly to do but you'll just want to snap these rear pieces there into place and once that's done the skirt pieces will then come up and over the top to create something which looks along the lines of this and now this is really where you're going to see this figure shine so bringing in some of these additional spider legs these tabs here will port into these slots so we can just snap those there into place come here to this side and you guys guessed it, rinse and repeat. And there we have the APC Toys Arachnid with those spider legs. Her fully transformed up into her hunter mode. And wow, what an amazing look. Undeniably, the way that I'll be keeping this character on the shelf, she just looks fantastic. And these legs are incredible. This was something that I would never have thought we would have seen. This is the definitive version of Arachnid as she appeared in the show. And the legs are actually incredible. They're really well articulated as well. So here at the top, they can hinge up and down we also do get a second hinge joint here kind of in the midsection of the leg and they can also be splayed forwards and backwards so that's pretty sweet now if you really wanted to go full-on hunter mode perhaps she's chasing down rc in one of the forests we can actually take these here rotate these sections up just like so take the head fold this section up and as you guys can see she literally does look like a spider hunting its prey i just thought that was so so cool a really awesome figure i just cannot praise this thing enough at least in terms of the way it looks now the spider legs much like the majority of the robot mode do feel a little cheap so i would definitely recommend just taking your time when actually handling them of course you don't want to just take the legs and yank them to move this joint i would definitely recommend applying the pressure kind of where the joint is you don't want to take the tip and try and yank it up as you may actually damage some of the plastic that we have here at the top but definitely such a stunning looking figure i think this is a marked improvement when in comparison to anything that we've seen previously now turning to a few comparisons here in this mode here we have her alongside the apc toys rc soundwave optimus prime and finally megatron now as we turn to transformation this is actually fairly straightforward so to kickstart things off you will want to bring in the smaller more compressed spider legs and on the underside of each of the legs is a tiny tab that will peg here into this slot so just snap that in there into place do the same here for all of the sides and then we can just straighten out the legs here to create the main propeller blade which actually looks pretty sweet we can then bring in arachnid herself i would then recommend to take these sections hinge these out to the back just to allow for some additional clearance as what will happen is these double joints will collapse in upon themselves and basically the hand will stir away in a hollow cavity that we have here for the shoulder so let's just slide that up 
until it does snap there into place. Do the same here for this side. So pull this section forwards and then just curl that elbow in and slide that piece into place. What you'll then want to do is take this section here, rotate this all the way up and actually take the cockpit and hinge this section forwards. Once that's done, we can then pull this piece out and then basically what you'll want to do here is rotate all the way around and here in this hollow cavity, the breastplate will just collapse in. Now, once that's done, on the inside, we have these tiny black supports. These are actually gonna come forwards so do the same here for this side and that will then allow us to take the cockpit hinge that down and just create something which is looking along the lines of this now the first time you transform this it's going to be very difficult to get both this tab and this tab pegged into these two slots but after the first couple of tries things should start to loosen up and it should definitely become a lot more simplistic so just snap that in there come here to this side and as you guys would guess rinse and repeat so snap that in there and peg this one in at the front and now comes kind of the tricky part so here at the top of this section there are two tabs here and here that will slide into two slots on the inside of the leg so just bring this section up snap that section into place and then come to this side and repeat the same process snap that in there we can then take the heel spurs collapse those to the back and snap these two halves here together I would then recommend to take these sections collapse those down and as you guys can see there is a lip that will basically slide underneath this section and then this slot here will peg into this tab so snap that section in there and then come around here to this side and repeat the exact same process so just snap that section in there also and then for some finishing touches we can take the propeller peg that into place and here we have arachnid fully transformed up into her pretty cool looking helicopter mode and overall this definitely does the trick and actually looks incredibly accurate to how it appeared in the show so as we just very quickly take a look at the overall shape and design of this thing i think it looks really cool especially this entire front portion as you guys can see we do get the cockpit which has been painted in a very nice purple and just the glossy black plastic in general really Really does look sweet i like how the tail blade comes together as you guys can see we get the main propeller at the top which can spin very nicely and there really isn't that much robot mode kibble that is too visible in the helicopter mode i'd say the transformation is borderline what you would expect from a deluxe but yeah it's incredibly effective there really isn't much else i can say about this copter mode at all it comes together fairly nicely i do have a few tolerance issues as i mentioned previously with these side panels as you guys can see if i push this one here all the way it will cause this front one to pop out now that could just be an issue that i'm seeing here on my copy but the thing just really doesn't like to stay together too well which is a shame but other than that i do think it's a pretty cool looking alt mode now here for a comparison on the left we have our new apc toys arachnid compared alongside the official hasbro version which when in helicopter mode was by far the best look for this figure but i'm going to be honest and say considering how accurate this thing is in robot mode and how simplistic the transformation is the helicopter mode is outstanding it looks really accurate to the series there I'd say slightly better when in comparison to this thing especially in regards to the proportions here for the front and despite it being considerably bigger in bot mode when in comparison to this version as you guys can see for the copter mode if anything the old Hasbro Deluxe may be slightly bigger than this release and I just think the way the spider legs come together to form the propeller blade looks way nicer when in comparison to the purple plastic that we have for this so yet again even in this mode the KO version hands down destroys decimates the original version that we saw way back in 2012 but we aren't done with this figure yet as it almost has a fourth unofficial mode where you can transform it basically into a spider so to kick start things off you will want to remove this propeller basically just flip it upside down and this is where you're going to want to bring in those really cool iron spider legs and they will peg into some slots that we have here along the side of the copter and just do the same here for this side and here we have the unofficial spider mode which i'm gonna be honest actually looks pretty cool that really does look quite convincing so i guess it's something you can do i don't believe it's advertised but 
it really doesn't look too bad at all. And for those who perhaps want Arachnid to turn into an Arachnid, this is a pretty sweet fourth alt mode. And so, some final thoughts for this APC Toys Transformers Prime Arachnid. Overall, it's definitely a fairly nicely done figure. I think it's awesome that APC Toys are now at a point where they can begin to offer us completely brand new sculpts. I think she looks outstanding in her humanoid form and especially in that hunter mode. Transformation is very simplistic yet incredibly effective as I'd say the helicopter mode looks just as accurate as it did in the show but I will be honest and say the plastic definitely doesn't feel up to par with what I would expect from APC toys. Their Optimus Prime, their RC, their Soundwave, all of those figures felt incredibly well made whereas this one sadly I think is slightly lacking in that department. Certain edges just feel too sharp, some joints feel too loose and not everything does snap together in both robot and helicopter mode so that is something worth mentioning and I also think for a brand new sculpt the articulation is a little slacking especially in regards to the ankle pivot but if you're after an arachnid which looks near enough spot on to how she appeared in the series then without a doubt this is the figure for you this thing annihilates the official version that we saw first time released by Hasbro I'd love to hear your thoughts down in the comment section below I'll be sure to back a link down in the description box for those who wish to add this to the collection and as always I thank you all so much for watching until my next review I'll see you then thanks for watching